As the U.S. manufacturing sector rides 28 straight months of production growth into 2012, a big part of its future is being threatened by the highly volatile European debt crisis, which has international customers anxiously holding on to cash. Between May and September of this year, new industrial orders from Europe dropped by almost 8 percent after two years of steady growth. What's worrisome for American producers is that over the last 15 years, those orders have been closely tied to the health of U.S. manufacturing, bonded by the fact that nearly a quarter of exported manufactured goods in the U.S. go to European countries, according to the National Association of Manufacturers. The order rate for those part numbers hasn't been at the same pace it's been. St. Charles-based Bison Gear and Engineering has significant business tied up across the pond. Owner Ron Bullock says exports account for about 20 percent of the company's $60 million in annual sales, with a large portion of that going to European customers. Bison has tried to hedge against the crisis by delaying permanent hires among its 300 employees, maintaining more temp workers to help negotiate fluctuations in demand. What we have seen is a shrinking of lead times and uh, so we need to respond more quickly. People are waiting till the last minute to replenish their stocks and they're conserving cash. And if they go down, it could trigger a double dip recession. And the road isn't much easier for larger manufacturers like Glenview-based Illinois Toolworks, which lowered its fourth quarter revenue forecast last month in anticipation of an ongoing drop-off in European orders. That's no surprise to Plant and Moran manufacturing consultant Jeff Mangle, who points to the lack of credit availability in the EU as his European client's biggest obstacle. He says it's forcing U.S. producers to sell more to emerging markets like China and Brazil. If you had operations in Europe, you're refocusing what those operations are. And right now, the risk is in Europe. It's a high risk. Maybe I need to diversify that to another location in another spot of the globe and figure out how I'm going to be exercising my opportunities there and wait for the time to turn around in Europe. So you're winding two coils at the same time. In the meantime, Bullock is shifting his focus back to the drawing board while the debt crisis lingers, putting more resources into research and development and seeking out new markets until European confidence picks up. Their moves he hopes will leave the company better prepared for similar political turmoil moving forward. We certainly have put a lot of emphasis on diversifying uh, to exports because you know, we represent 25 percent of the global economy here in the United States with 5 percent of the population there's still 75 percent of the markets are outside the United States. So to create jobs here in the United States, we have to be globally competitive.